Today's video, I don't think y'all have ever sent me so many DMs asking me when it was coming out. What I'm going to be doing is breaking down for you all of the things I wore on my recent cruise. I'm going to go through outfit by outfit. I will link what I can in the description box. Full disclaimer, a lot of these things either are sold out, but I'll try to at least, uh, you know, give you the names of the designers. So if you're looking for them, some of them are from Amazon. So you're going to see pieces that were over $300 all the way down to a couple of dresses that were like $14. So I hope you love it. Um, let me just tell you from the beginning, I am not a you know fashion guru. I don't think anyone would say that about me, but I have come into my own in terms of style, what I feel good in, my confidence. I was really into fashion when I was young and then I just didn't have time for it, right? For, for years with working full time, raising a family, all of the things. But now that I'm in my 50s, I'm kind of getting back into it again. It is doing wonders for me, just in terms of like confidence, how I feel. I feel more beautiful when I put a little bit more time and effort into what I'm wearing. And especially for a trip like this, which was a girlfriend's trip with my great friend, Coral. She, by the way, really brought it in the fashion department too, but I will let her decide if she wants to talk about that on her channel. And yeah, I'm just going to share with you all of the looks and we'll just dive right in. In my brain, the way this video is going to go is it's going to be like, if you've ever watched the Vogue videos like this, where, you know, very fancy people like, uh, I don't know, Kate Blanchett or, or whomever go through like outfit by outfit in this big old album. I don't have that. I just have my iPhone. <laughs> But we are going to go through outfit by outfit, and I am going to talk about everything that I wore. So we're going to start with my travel look. Now, this was a cruise to the Grand Cayman and Castaway Key originating in Miami. So I really did not need anything for cold weather other than what I needed on the airplane to and from. And I had checked the weather here in Atlanta where I live. It wasn't going to be too terribly cold. I do take public transportation to the airport from where I live. So, you know, you definitely want to be comfortable on public transport. But this first outfit, I am wearing some uh, navy blue pants from J. Jill. Um, very comfortable with an elastic waist. A couple points off because they don't have pockets, which normally when I travel, pants with pockets is a huge deal. But they were comfortable enough that I was willing to let that slide. Um, a white t-shirt that would I would wear other times during the cruise a blue and white striped zip-up jacket from Vineyard Vines, a denim jacket from approximately 2005, I think, from Coldwater Creek, so good luck finding it. And then, yeah, that was it. Now, my flight was short. I've talked before about things like my blue salt wrap and stuff like that, but the flight to Miami was just like an hour and 15 minutes, so I really didn't feel the need to do any of that. If it were a longer flight, I definitely would have uh, thrown on at least a scarf, um, probably would have taken that blue salt three yard wrap that I absolutely love for long haul flights. But this is just a quick little, quick little jaunt over to Miami. So this outfit was perfect. Now, when you are thinking through what you're going to wear on an airplane, pockets are huge. Of course, you want to empty them out before you go through security. That's important. But then for during the flight, if you're not going to use my tip to like have a crossbody or a waist pack to hold the essentials you'll need during the flight, pockets are a really wait, great way to go. That denim jacket I had on actually has pockets inside, you know, the lining. So a lot of times if you pay a little bit more for a jacket, the lining that is the exterior pocket, they will sew the bottom and turn that into a pocket on the inside of the jacket. Um, I'll see if I can snap a picture of how that works on this jacket. But when that works, it works great because it's the perfect spot for your AirPods, your cell phone, whatever you might need during the flight or as soon as you land in the airport so you don't have to be rifling through your bag. You can also accomplish this with a small crossbody or a waist pack. Just make sure that those smaller items will fit into your second item so you're not getting on the airplane with more than two items. They have been really strict about that recently and I was actually asking around about it because for the longest time they weren't strict at all and then all of a sudden they were and it turns out they will get fined by the FAA if people are getting on the plane with more than two items. 
did not know this. So now I know, so I always make sure that that crossbody or waist pack can fit into my secondary bag, which this time didn't even matter because I didn't utilize any of those things. But felt really cute. Everything that I wore, I was able to wear other times during the trip. And it was just the perfect little outfit. It was also the same thing that I wore um, on the plane on the way back. Again, if it had been a long haul flight, I might not have done that, but for a short flight, totally could reuse the outfit. So that was just fine. All right, let's move on to our next look. And this one was after I got to Miami and I changed into this little blue and white dress. Now, I love having these very versatile, casual dresses. They're so perfect for cruising. This dress, I think I wore three or four times. I almost used it as like my cruise house dress. Did your mom have a house dress when you were young that she would like throw on in the mornings if someone came over or whatever? You kind of need that on a cruise because if you want to run down to get coffee or like you just woke up and you just kind of want to go out and see what's going on on the ship or if you come in from, you know, the beach or whatever and you just want to throw something on really quick, having a dress like this in your travel wardrobe is just perfection. Absolutely love this one. I got it from Stitch Fix quite a while ago, um, but I'll see if I can find something similar and link it for you. It's just above the knee. It's flouncy. It's cute. It looks put together, but again, I can just throw it on. Oh, I didn't talk about the shoes that I wore. I should have talked about that back in the other outfit. I picked up before this trip a pair of Karyumas that were leather. Now, I have been buying Karyumas now for a little while, I always wore um, Supergas, which I know I'm saying it wrong, but let's just all be okay with it. Um, and then I switched to Karyumas, which is another, is a UK brand. Um, I think I saw Helen Mirren wear them at some award show. Uh, but I wanted leather because leather's a little bit more durable, um, a little bit better for travel. And I wanted some shoes that were super comfortable that I could wear for my like long walks on the ship or in a port excursion or whatever. And I wasn't even sure if I would love them. I got them a few days before the cruise. Y'all, I loved them. I wore them on the airplane. I wore them on the cruise ship. I actually have them on right now as we're speaking. Super comfortable to walk in. And those were, you know, a, a huge find. Very, very, very happy with those. Okay, so we've got our travel outfit, that little blue and white dress. Now let's move to embarkation day. Now here is my big cruise tip. If you are not going to swim or whatever when you get on the boat, I prefer to wear for embarkation day the same outfit when I get on the ship as I will wear for dinner that night. Now, I did find out this is kind of an old sailing tradition um, from back the old days of sea ocean going travel because embarkation day is a rough day. You're, you're doing a lot of traveling, a lot of shuffling around. You're usually pretty exhausted. And back in the day of like the QE2, uh, women would not want to do like full on dress for dinner on the first night. So cruise casual was the norm for night one. So I have taken to wearing something on the boat that I feel very comfortable wearing to first night dinner. And that is what I did with this outfit. Now this dress, y'all have been asking me because I posted a bunch of pictures of myself in this dress on social media because she's cute. I got it on sale at the Nordstrom sale for $51. Fairly sure it's sold out now, but you can search for the dress and still find it. I think Zappos weirdly had it, um, but I'll definitely put the name of the dress um, down in the description box. And um, I'll actually put the name of it here too if you want to look that up. I paired that with my really cute new bag that I got for Christmas that I talked about in my packing video. Not, I don't want to make a big deal about that bag because it was a splurge gift from my husband. I absolutely love it and it is by Mulberry. I've wanted it forever. Normally, I do not bring luxury handbags with me on vacation. I made an exception because I just got it at Christmas and I was actually really glad that I had it. And then I had my little um, navy blue kind of gladiator looking sandals and this belt that is from Target. So belts are back, baby. If you don't know, that's all the thing. And I'm, I'm really glad because of the way that, that I'm built. Um, belts are my best friend. Belts are huge for me. I find them very flattering. If they aren't huge for you, you might not want to go with this trend. Um, but this belt got uh, at least double duty, if not triple duty. I wore it a lot. 
And this dress also had double duty. And I had a really beautiful silk scarf that I bought on Amazon that I wore this same dress a different night. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So this is what I wore for getting on the ship. You know, you really can't go more comfortable than just a cotton dress. It's going to move well. You're going to feel confident in it. I felt like I looked really pretty and put together and it just kind of set the tone for a beautiful cruise. So that was my embarkation day look. Okay, now this next look, um, I actually wore a couple of different times. Um, I did carry on only for this trip, so things had to do double duty. I wore my Volcom black beach pants, which are really beautiful, fast drying, um, uh, kind of a, of a gauze material. And they are so great. I have raved about these pants. I could not find them on the website. I, I'll look again and see if I can find them. If you look up like beach pants, you'll usually find something similar. I think Marine Layer had a similar pair for a while. Elastic waist, super flattering, perfect over a bathing suit. I actually wore these to Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island. Um, for this look, I paired them with a little navy blue camisole that I brought and a white oversized linen top. Now this top served so many purposes for me on this cruise. It worked with this outfit. I could wear it over any of the dresses that I bought. It worked as a bathing suit cover up. A white linen button up blouse. I happen to have gotten, or I guess it's more like a shirt because it's cut with like a, kind of a man's shirt. Um, I got this one at Target. I do not think they have it anymore, um, but I think you cannot go wrong with a good blouse like this. You don't have to pay a fortune for them. I do like higher end linen, but this one came kind of um, scratchy when I got it, but I've now washed it and let it hang dry. And then what I do is I put it in the dryer um, with just like a little teeny bit of a dryer sheet, like half a dryer sheet for just a few minutes to kind of fluff it up. And it's become nice and soft and is absolutely my go-to for a warm weather vacation. We're actually leaving for Mexico in a few weeks and this is gonna be going with me um, there as well. So yeah, definitely, highly recommend. Um, Coral had one too. Somehow we managed to never be twinning, but you know. <laughs> now let's go to the next, uh, a different night. Um, and, and it was like two nights after I had worn it on embarkation day. But that same black dress paired with that silk scarf that I bought on Amazon. And I feel like the scarf just gave it a completely different look. Um, it happened to be pirate night, the night that I wore this particular outfit. It, it kind of looked a little piratey to me, a little, I don't know, Esmeralda or something. Um, but I was really happy with the look. And I feel like it kind of changed the entire dress just by changing the belt. And, you know, no one is keeping track or going to be like, oh, wait, didn't you already wear that once on this sailing? I promise no one is keeping track. And, and really, it's not like you're getting your dresses that you're wearing to dinner terribly dirty. And black is very forgiving in that department. So, yeah, it was great to be able to wear that dress twice. Okay, now this is actually what I wore. I kind of went out of order a little bit, but I wanted to show you the other way to wear that same dress. This blue dress, um, and I've already washed it and dried it, so I know it comes out beautifully, is from Amazon and was $17, $14, so inexpensive, and I love this dress. I really am trying to move away from fast fashion. So I try to, if I'm gonna do something like Amazon, if I get it and I feel like it's just not gonna last or not something that I'm gonna wear, you know, for a long time, I won't keep it. This dress, you guys, it's so comfortable. It's so flattering. Like the way that it drapes on, it's just, it's just amazing. And Coral bought this same dress in a different color and she felt the same way about it. We were both like, how was this dress so inexpensive? And this is one of those dresses that is such a neutral that you could dress it up or you could dress it down. It does have like an empire waist, which is great for, I don't know, if you want to have some ice cream or eat a lot at dinner, I don't know, you know, it's your vacation. You do what you want. Now this bag, if you watch my packing video, this bag was not in the packing video, and here's why. It actually had not come yet. It is from Tory Burch. I happen to love it. I did. I had to squeeze it in. I had to sacrifice some other things. I kind of used it as a packing cube in my luggage. It was originally like $600. I got it on sale. I had an extra coupon code for like 168 and I just checked, and it's still on sale, and now I think it's like 230 but 
I love the color yellow, but it's not a color that I could ever wear like for a dress. My skin just doesn't love it. But for an accessory and just a pop of color and just something a little bit different, could not have been happier with this bag. I just felt like it looked cute and interesting and not like what everybody else had. And yeah, I, I really debated about, do I have room for it? Do I not have room for it? But in the end, it ended up, the two bags that I took were the Mulberry bag and um, that little yellow Tory Burch. And I was super happy with, with both choices. So yeah, that's, that's what we went with. Um, and then I paired that with my little um, dress sandals um, and felt really just confident. And I could have worn my Karyumas with this dress. I could have worn those blue little um, strappy sandals with this dress. Pretty, I could have worn, I even my Javiana flip-flops that I brought, I could have worn that with this dress. Um, it's just, especially for cruising in warm weather, it is just perfection and you cannot beat that price point. Okay, now the next look was my fancy dinner look, and this is a blue dress. It is from um, Anthropology. I will list it below. There are a couple of different brands that are copying this dress now. I think Quince has a version of it. I cannot express to you guys how beautiful I feel in this dress. The blue is gorgeous. The way that it flows, it feels so elegant and formal, and yet it is so comfortable. So it, it even, like since this was a Disney cruise, is a little bit of a Cinderella vibe for me. Again, I paired it with my Mulberry uh, bag that I absolutely love. Um, paired it with the little dress sandals that I took. I do not recommend heels on a cruise ship ever. Um, if the ship should get rocky, they can actually be kind of dangerous and they're just unnecessary. I do, however, like a little bit of an elevated sandal. So if you can get maybe like a small wedge or something with a tiny heel, fine. Um, but you will see women uh, with really high heels on cruise ships and they don't look happy. And when I'm on a cruise, I want to be happy. So um, unless it was like for a vow renewal or something, and even then, I just don't think you would see me um, in high heels, even with the most formal of dresses. But anymore, they make so many sandals that work with formal dresses. Um, Coral and I actually had our hair done in the salon, which was such a treat. We kept calling it girlfriend's prom uh, because, you know, we, we just don't get dressed up like that in our normal lives. We went to Remy, which is the really, really fancy restaurant. Coral's dress, by the way, was incredible. If I can find the, the information on her dress, I will link that below as well because that she got it at a local boutique there where she lives. But yeah, that dress was just stunning on her and it had like a little detail around the cuff. Um, but you've seen this dress. I've worn it. Um, this is the second cruise I've taken it on. I've worn it many, many times and it was expensive. This is one of those things that you, you buy and is a little bit of an investment piece, but you also could dress this dress down. I've seen it styled online with like a denim jacket and even like more casual tennis shoes, things like that. For me, it definitely feels like a more elevated outfit and I like to dress it up, um, but you could go either way. And this is also one of those dresses you could get multiple wears out of. So that was probably one of my favorite outfits. And then lastly, I'm gonna take you to this J. McLaughlin jumpsuit. Now the jumpsuit is, you'll hear different opinions about the jumpsuit, right? It is challenging to use the ladies room in a jumpsuit. I will grant you that. I 100% understand what you're talking about. However, she's so stinking cute. Now this whole outfit for me is a stretch. I don't own a lot of pattern. I don't own a lot of like loud prints, but when I saw this in the window at Jay McLaughlin, I about lost my mind, but here was the trick. I tried it on and I was in between sizes and it was a bit of a stretch. So Jay McLaughlin is one of those brands that has free alterations. Several different companies do it. Um, Nordstrom will do it for you. You could also just take it to, a lot of times your dry cleaner offers alteration services. In fact, we were just at our dry cleaner and she had her big changing room out because she does that. Um, having clothes altered to fit you beautifully, I think is probably the biggest style tip that I have started doing in my 50s. If you find a piece of clothing that you love, have it altered to fit you perfectly. This jumpsuit, since it was altered just for me, 
I, I can't even tell you how badass I feel when I wear it. I feel confident. I feel like I look beautiful. I love the color. I realize it's not for everybody, but it makes me feel beautiful. And that's kind of the point of fashion and style is that when you put something on, you feel beautiful. Now, I will tell you, uh, I put so much time and effort into putting these outfits together before the cruise, and I loved every minute of it. I felt so fancy, so like a little girl playing dress up, and I have not had that much fun um, with fashion in a while. So definitely try on your outfits ahead of time. Um, kind of, you know, play with them. Ha have your full-length mirror. I'm hoping you have a really beautiful full-length mirror. If you don't, you need to go and get one. We need to be able to see ourselves from all angles to make sure that we're, you know, taking the most advantage of, of how we're built and how we like to feel. And just make sure that you feel confident and happy in what you're wearing. Because if you feel confident and happy, that is what's going to shine through. And people probably won't even remember what you wore, but they will remember you. And they will remember seeing a, ha a happy, confident uh, person that felt really good in her own skin. So I hope you find clothes that will do that for you. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I will say you do have to spend some time, though, because I did get some other dresses from Amazon that were well, not good. So did Coral. Um, but this one that I'm going to post below, I mean, honestly, I thought about getting it in like every color that it comes in because it is, it is that good of a dress, but find clothes that make you feel beautiful. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I wish that you would go ahead and hit that like button. Oh, and I didn't go over, let me go back and say this. I didn't go over like the stuff I wore during the day and like to excursions and things like that because it was bathing suits and t-shirts and shorts. And I feel like we all have our own personal style with that and you guys can figure it out. And for days at sea, it was, you know, those black pants that I showed you. It was like that little house dress that I would just throw on over my bathing suit. Very, very casual. And the same things that I always wear. But those nights out, we really dressed up and you don't have to, but if it's something that makes you feel beautiful and it makes the trip more fun, why not? Why not just go for it? And what I took enabled me to still do carry on, but still feel elevated, still feel beautiful and still feel a little bit extra. And I think that is just fabulous. So thanks for being here today. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I don't do sponsored videos. So anytime you can support the channel, it helps me out either by shopping those affiliate links, or you can join us on Patreon where we do monthly live streams. I do exclusive blog posts and videos, and I would love to see you there. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.